The Old World monkeys or Cercopithecidae are a family of primates, the only family in the superfamily Cercopithecoidea in the clade, or parvorder, of Catarini. The Old World monkeys are native to Africa and Asia today, inhabiting a range of environments from tropical rainforest to savanna, shrubland and mountainous terrain, and are also known from Europe in the fossil record. However, a, possibly introduced, free-roaming group of monkeys still survives in Gibraltar, Europe, to this day. Old world monkeys include many of the most familiar species of non-human primates, such as baboons and macaques. Characteristics Old world monkeys are medium to large in size, and range from arboreal forms, such as the Calabas monkeys to fully terrestrial forms, such as the baboons. The smallest is the tilipoint, with a head and body 34 to 37 centimeters in length, and weighing between 0.7 and 1.3 kilograms, while the largest is the male mandrel, the females of the species being significantly smaller, at around 70 centimeters in length, and weighing up to 50 kilograms. By superficial appearance, Old World monkeys are unlike apes in that most have tails, the family name means tailed ape, and, unlike the New World monkeys, platrines, in that their tails are never prehensile. Technically, the distinction of catarines from platrines depends on the structure of the nose, and the distinction of Old World monkeys from apes depends on dentition. The number of teeth is the same in both, but they are shaped differently. In platrines, the nostrils face sideways, while in catarines, they face downward. Other distinctions include both the tubular rectotympanic, ear bone, and eight, not twelve, premolars in catarines, giving them a dental formula of several old world monkeys have anatomical oddities. For example, the Calabas monkeys have stubs for thumbs to assist with their arboreal movement, the proboscis monkey has an extraordinary nose, while the snub-nosed monkeys have almost no nose at all. The male mandrel's penis is red and the scrotum is lilac, the face is also brightly colored. The coloration is more pronounced in dominant males. Most whole world monkeys are at least partially omnivorous but all prefer plant matter, which forms the bulk of their diet. Leaf monkeys are the most vegetarian, subsisting primarily on leaves, and eating only a small number of insects, while the other species are highly opportunistic, primarily eating fruit, but also consuming almost any food items available, such as flowers, leaves, bulbs and rhizomes, insects, snails and even small vertebrates. The Barbary macaque's diet consists mostly of leaves and roots, though it will also eat insects and uses cedar trees as a water source. Gestation in the Old World monkeys lasts between 5 and 7 months. Births are usually single, although, as with humans, twins occur from time to time. The young are born relatively well developed and are able to cling on to their mother's fur with their hands from birth. Compared with most other mammals, they take a long time to reach sexual maturity, with four to six years being typical of most species. In most species, daughters remain with their mothers for life, so that the basic social group among old world monkeys is a matrilineal troop. Males leave the group on reaching adolescence and find a new troop to join. In many species, only a single adult male lives with each group, driving off all rivals, but others are more tolerant, establishing hierarchical relationships between dominant and subordinate males. Group sizes are highly variable, even within species, depending on the availability of food and other resources. Classification Two subfamilies are recognized, the Cercopithecini, which are mainly African, but include the diverse genus of macaques, 
which are Asian and North African, and the Colobini, which includes most of the Asian genera, but also the African Colobus monkeys. Thank you.